few more comments to kind of round up what Steve said before I introduce the speaker. Uh, most people may know intuitively, but uh, it wasn't until recently that I actually started thinking this way explicitly. That sustainability is really about connecting the dots among a lot of different areas of issues that are commonly isolated from one another. <laughs> so so I, I went back there and looked at some of my past editorials and you know, found out that you know intuitively every one of those was about pointing out to the readership, the general public, that hey, water is connected to energy, land use is connected to water. Uh, see, uh, a lot of these things are related to climate change. Uh, climate change is very much related to the interests of the future of coastal areas of the nation, and uh, yet we seem to be consistently almost seemingly, uh, maybe permanently, we don't think so, but uh, overcome with a sense of uh, obsolete assumptions about what is possible in policy. And I think a lot of that is not just who has vested interests, and the majority of power people making money off the business as usual, and which is a dominant and political influence in the state, and there are many governments like that, but also because just the habits of uh, perception, habits of thinking, Tomorrow is just going to be a lot more like yesterday, and we just have to tinker with a little bit, make some minor adjustments, and think we're fine. Well, I think it's becoming increasingly clear to a lot of people that things aren't going to be fine if we keep up with business as usual. We've got to make some fundamental changes, and uh, we, the center is trying to be uh, an agent and bring that change about by bringing uh, a lot of these issues to focus, and especially as they say, their interrelationship. 